Hi, I'm Amanda Botour with Yoga Today. Today we're going to be breaking down Bakasana for you, Crow Pose. Natasha is going to help me here. So what I'm going to do is introduce some key actions for you that are going to help you once you're up. So we're going to start with the hands. So the fingertips are at the level of your knees here. And she's going to come into what's called Lolasana. She's going to coil the belly back. So she's going to the navel back and she's going to lift. And you can see that's creating this Bakasana feel already in the body. And then she's going to lower down. So again, this is a key action. Again, come up. Beautiful, and then come down. So that creates kind of the pattern in the body that's gonna help you come into Bakasana more easily. From here, come up to Lulasana and just roll over the toes. As she rolls over the toes, the feet are gonna stay together. She's just gonna widen the knees. From here, get soft in the groin. So you're gonna soften the groins back and just kind of wiggle the hips so you're comfortable. The way I like to come into Bakasana is a little different because I like to create a lot of space so that you have space to rely on to come up more successfully. So as you reach your hands forward, just get soft in the heart, soften the groins back, and then literally you just widen your hands and drag them back so that these upper arms come underneath like a ledge so that you're underneath the shins. So from here, she's going to coil with that same low lasana feeling and just coil the belly back and lift a tiny bit and then relax down and then coil again. Draw the belly back. See if you can get the actions, inner thighs squeezing towards each other. Come down. This time she's going to coil and she's going to come all the way up, taking one foot followed by the other. And you can see the puffing of the crane, the puffing of the crow really happens at the end once you come up. Tailbone stays low. Heels are kicking towards the buttock and the inner thighs are squeezing towards each other. That's what engages the core again so that you can then stay more successfully. Your gaze is forward. Not so much that you're crinking the neck, but enough that it's just coming towards the front edge of your mat. She's going to come down and then relax. As a counter pose, you can just relax the wrist or take Padahastasana. For a full one hour practice, you can feel free to go to www.yogatoday.com and we'll see you there. Thank you so much for joining us.